everybody. Hi, we are live at five from Broadway.com. I'm Paul Montoro. I'm Ryan Lee Gilbert. And uh, we have an awesome guest today. We do. Yes. Yes. Juan Pablo de Pace. Yeah. De Pace. The De Pace. De Pace. <laughs> yeah. I know yes. I'm going to screw it up. He's head of the Feinstein's 54 Below. Soon, yeah. Oh, yeah. And um, this guy's like super talent. I've actually been, and he's such a beautiful voice. But he's done a lot, and we're going to talk about it. You're in um, musical theater and TV. He was Jesus, all kinds Netflix. of things. Fuller House. Yeah, yeah. anyway. Everything. Um, he's super talented, and we're excited he's here. But first, uh, let's, yes. Uh, but first, we have a lot. There's yeah. so much news. There's a lot There's of news. So much today. news today. Really exciting. A lot, a, lot, a lot of our favorites are involved today. So, first yeah. of all, the big news of the day early this morning Sarah Bareilles going into Waitress on Broadway, taking over the role of Jenna from Tony winner Jesse Mueller. I feel like we knew um, this was going to happen. Yes, this is one of those things that we've been talking about for a little while and hoping, and then it, it all came true to this morning. And it's so. actually kind of funny because certain things that we know are going to happen, we write the news story ahead mm -hmm. of time. So it's been sitting there. I feel like we've had this story <laughs> written for so right. long, it's and then exciting, we finally though. were able to hit publish. Yes. So, so. Uh, congratulations. That's so exciting. Yeah, uh, Jesse Mueller's last performance will be March 26th, and then Sarah Bareilles will start in, um, step in on March 31st, and I think she goes there through like June 11th or Ten something. Weeks, yeah. yeah, so... Yep. Make sure you check that out. Awesome. Um, also, Cynthia Erivo, it was announced today, she will perform at the Oscars Governor's Ball for all the Academy Award winners Fancy. and nominees. Yes, yeah, Cynthia Erivo. She's everywhere. She's rocketing up there. Yes, yeah, every, I love yeah. that. Please keep coming back to us, though. Don't, yeah. don't get swept yeah. up in the TV. But you know what? It's interesting. She's not, like, heading back to London. No, no, no. Like, she's, she's sticking America around. America wants yeah, her, right? She's like, you know, a lot, a lot of America good things right happening. Now. So exactly. we love that. Also, Darren Chris. We all love Darren Chris. M multiple Broadway.com audience choice. I award think this winner. news might be huge. This is this could be enormous for Darren Chris. You agree okay, with so me. yes. So we all know about American Crime Story. The next the season series, is this Katrina, yeah. um, but then the one after that is about the Versace killer. Okay, can I just say when when Andrew Cananan is a serial killer, yes. the gay serial killer who yep. like killed Versace. His I last was so victim. obsessed with this case yeah, at the time. It's like, like one of those typical tabloid serial killers. It was, it was so crazy. It was like watching a, one of those two crime shows, but watching it in real life yeah. as it was happening. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then they were like after him. And then, and then this tabloidy oh book came out all about it. And, I, was and I read all of them. And you have too. Yes. Well, I'm, I'm very impressed crime. that you yeah. have. <laughs> You're younger than me. I'm impressed <laughs> that you've read them. And But Andrew Cananan. So Darren Chris is playing Andrew Cananan. Right. And With the script. serial killer. Yeah, and we were saying, like, it makes total sense, yeah. him being part of the Ryan Murphy universe already. Mm -hmm. Also, he looks eerily like Andrew Cunningham. Yeah, I think he's going to pull it off. Like, yeah. And, and if, it's re if it's received as well as O.J. versus, you know, the people versus O.J. Simpson is, this could be huge And it Darren. could be a great, I mean, he's, he was such a fascinating character. I mean, right, he was like, right. kind of, like, not accepted by the gay community. Mm -hmm. And, like, like, I just feel like there's going to be so much... For uh, Darren to like chew on, it's so needy. Yeah. I'm excited. I can't Congratulations, wait. Darren Chris. And Edgar Ramirez was also announced. He will be playing Gianni Versace okay. as well. When is this so, happening? When are we going to um, get to it? It's I think like, it's in 2018. Right. Yes, because the Katrina season I'll is hold first. my breath. <laughs> Maybe I'll read all the books again. <laughs> exactly. We'll reimmerse ourselves. Uh, starting tonight, Arthur Miller's The Price with that crazy cast: Mark Ruffalo, Danny DeVito, Jessica Hecht. That starts this evening. So, this is a great play, by the way. I, I remember this play I, the last time it was revived. I great, love great Arthur play. Miller. Yeah, Arthur Miller. So much Broadway. Yeah. Arthur Miller recently. Um, Ali Stoker, who we all love She's from the Spring Awakening times. revival. Yes, she is cast in this new show on ABC called Ten Days in the Valley, which airs later this year. That title sounds so familiar. I know Isn't it does. I was else? sitting here trying, I feel like something, something else in the valley. Yes. A lot of things in the yes. valley. Yes. Well, this is 10 days in okay. the valley. <laughs> 10 days. <laughs> uh, and I hope she's there for all 10 days. <laughs> Me I hope too. it's a good part. Yeah, that's right. ABC later this year. Um, a George Michael Benefit concert at the Highline Ballroom has been announced for April 24th. Big people performing there, Javier Munoz, Cheyenne Jackson, Titus Burgess, Erica Bergen, Eric Bergen. They're all slated to perform. I'm George obsessed Michael. with George Michael. He's I know. Like, he's like my, one of my favorites. So now the, the, you know, the Grammys were its own thing, but Adele's performance was right. incredible. Right. But, um, British comedian Miranda Hart, who you may remember if you saw that movie Spy yeah. with Melissa McCarthy, she was, she was amazing yeah. in it. Uh, she is going to make her West End debut in the uh, Annie revival at Piccadilly Theater on Ms. May twenty third. As, as Miss Hannigan. Hannigan, yes, that's that's a great combination right there. She was yeah. hysterical in Spy. Uh, Timothy Ware, 
who used to who was the Lola standby yes, uh, in I Broadway's remember. Kinky Boots. Yeah. He is taking over the role of Lola on the tour because Jay Harrison Gee oh. is going to the Broadway production of they just you know the Lolas cool. they just make their way around. When, when, what's his uh, first city? Where does so he start? his first city will be Spokane, Washington, on February twenty eighth. So, and then he's sticking around for the whole third year. Cool. Uh, Tracy Letts, uh, he had a big night last night. His new play, Man from Nebraska, opened. And then it was announced... That wasn't enough. He wanted to be more than... No, he wanted to take over the whole day. (laughs) He's succeeding nothing to Darren Chris. His new play, The Minutes, which will premiere at Steppenwolf Theater in Chicago first, then will come to Broadway next spring, February 6th, 2018, at a theater to be announced. That shows a lot of confidence in a play. Yeah. It hasn't even been done, and they're like, this is good enough, we're taking it to Broadway. Right, well, and, and... Kennedy Shapiro, who directed Tracy Letts's August Osage County, will be directing this as well. So, cool. dream team, right there. Awesome. Um, a few features that you can check out on the site right now. The Man from Nebraska photo opening night gallery. A new episode of Let's Have Lunch with Mr. Michael Lee Xavier. Episode five. Yes. Backstage at Sunset Boulevard. Sunset Boulevard, big news last night, too. Hillary. Oh, yeah, so Hillary. Hillary yeah. Is, Hillary's making the rounds. She's just seeing lots of theater. She. I feel like she saw more theater than I did last week. <laughs> she is, yeah, she should be a Tony <laughs> nominator. Now and the, how point. do I know Hillary's at a show because my face well last night was actually interesting because it was a press night right so a lot of uh our colleagues were there Mm -hmm. and a lot of my facebook friends were there so all of a sudden there were just (laughs) bad blurry photos of hillary clinton from weird angles from everyone's seat throughout my feed like one after the next i was like all right all right i get it yeah so Um, she she checking out some great theater hillary uh, there's a significant other fresh face with Sass Goldberg. Oh my You're God. going to be obsessed the with this so girl. Good, right? She's it, you have to see. They took her to a bridal shop. She's in these wedding dresses. She's taking selfies. There's champagne popping. Caitlin McNaney, beautiful job yeah. on the photos. And Sass Goldberg is hilarious. She loves Aaron Tveit the way the rest of us do. Um, who, so. who watching this doesn't? <laughs> so you have to check that out. And finally, uh, Lynn Nottage, Pulitzer Prize winner. Her new play, Sweat. Uh, opens next month, right. and I met with the stars today at a press event. Uh, how talking was that? About the show. It was great. I saw it off Broadway. It's a oh, powerful, did? gripping play. I missed yeah. it. It's about the American working class, about race relations. It's very how timely. timely. Yes, exactly. So uh, check that all out. But I will hand it over to Juan Pablo de Pachi. Ah, Enjoy. thank you, Juan Pablo. Let's get in here. <laughs> Yay! Get in thank here, you. studio thank audience. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank how you. are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Do people ever tell you look a little like Darren Chris? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I see. That. Yeah, there's a similar. There's a similar thing going on. I actually on met him uh, at, a, at a, my boss's party one time. Yeah. A really, really sweet guy. Yeah. Yeah. Did you like take pictures together to see what, like what the? No. no. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. How are you? Welcome to Good. Broadway.com. Thank you for having so me. So nice to have you here. You got the same name, don't you? Uh, yeah, Pablo is my Spanish name. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, so you are. At 54 Below, next week, Feinstein slash 54 Below, next, what, Tuesday and Wednesday Mm -hmm. at 9.30, the 20th and 21st, and your show is called Act One, right? Um, or is it not called that anymore? It's called An Evening With... You had a show with, called Act I did, I did. That's, that was a typo. It's, it was an old show. So oh, this okay. one is called An Evening With Juan Pablo. An Evening, Evening With. Yeah. I love it's that. Simple and to the point. Yeah. So what are we in store for here? Is this like, what are you... No, okay, let's tell people a little bit of your life story. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm assuming you're sort of telling... A little bit of your story there? Yeah, sure, sure. I mean, you know, it's, it, is, it is kind of like a walk through different moments and misadventures and adventures uh-huh. of backstage showbiz. and showbiz uh-huh. and, you know, people I worked with and things that I've discovered along the way and uh, peppered with music that I love, songs you, that I You love. are from Argentina. I'm from Argentina. I'm you, that's where you were born. Yeah. So is it safe to assume that you're singing either Buenos Aires or Don't Cry For Me Argentina? No? no? Do you ever sing those that songs? That would be too much on the no. I don't know. <laughs> no, no. We love Argentina there's, because we love that score. There's some Spanish stuff there, but okay. not those songs. Okay, okay. But you're actually very worldly and very you international. Could you could say that. You're very, I'm, I'm like intimidated by how international you are. Right. Because you've, t- let's talk about all the places you've lived and worked and you, you get around. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Um, I lived. I was born in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Yeah. Uh, I went to Italy to finish high school for two years. Why? Why, went why Italy? Because I got a scholarship to this oh. really amazing international school, full scholarship. My parents couldn't say no because right. it was all paid, and yeah. so I just <laughs> left. <laughs> I just went. And I was in Italy. That was for yeah two years, and then London for ten years. That's where I studied. Theater. Right. So that's and that's where this because you ended up in Chicago, right? Right. Right. And weren't weren't you on like the posters? 
uh-huh. for Chicago, right? Was, yeah. For the West End uh-huh. production of Chicago. I remember your face, and then like a sexy girl, right? Yeah. Like it was like yeah. one of the, yeah. Uh, and the, I saw that production. It was, it, it's, it's just like it's the, the same one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a Walter exactly. Bobby production. How did you get in that? Is that your first like? That was my first job ever. Oh, it is. Wow. Yeah. How'd you get it? How old were you? How did that happen? I was I was twenty twenty two, uh-huh. and uh, I was I almost I was not finished with um, school performing arts school. I was like dancing, singing, acting kind of school, and yeah, I, I auditioned. I got it, and uh, I had I had a worse of an accent that I have right oh, now. Oh really? And they gave me a, a Billy Flynn cover, which was pretty. Oh amazing. wow. Twenty two. Um, and I went on once. How'd that go? Uh, what was that it was like? amazing. It's amazing. Was it terrifying? Imagine a twenty-two-year-old doing Billy Flynn with, with the accent. I love it. <laughs> it's fun. It was a lot of fun. Great, great, great first experience. Uh-huh. And then it went all downhill. Well, what do you mean it went all I'm downhill? I'm joking. Then I then I discovered that I liked it a little bit too much because I was an ensemble member back right. then. And that one performance, I was like, oh, no, Wait a I minute. have to do this. I like being center stage. Yes. <laughs> so that's what happened. I just, you know, kept going. And, and yeah, and you did, more. like, Saturday Night Fever, right? You were Tony mm-hmm. Monero. I, I could picture that. I, and then I've seen photos on your website. Mm-hmm. Your website has good, like, good it's archive. Be, yeah, 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 yeah. And then you were in Greece, that's right? Like, so you've, yeah, done, you've done yeah, all those guys. Well, then all, the, all the Travoltas, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Travolta part of your career. And then you were also in the Mamma Mia movie. I was. Who'd you play in that? I was Petros. Petros was, if you've... Oh, I'm, it's a spoiler, though. Oh. One Father is played by Colin Firth. And yeah. at the end of the movie, this is not in the play, it's in the movie, he says to Meryl, uh, you're the first woman I ever loved, and then you're the last woman I ever loved. And I'm the guy who he chose. That's right. I remember. I remember yeah. now. <laughs> what was it like being on that Colin set, though? With, with those people, Meryl Streep, that's Amazing. crazy. It was just incredible. It's one of the best experiences of my life because not only Meryl Streep, but everyone else, Christine, you know, Baranski and Colin Firth yeah. and Pierce Brosnan. And um, just watching them was, was enough for me. I mean, if they told me, just bring coffee, I would have done it, you know? <laughs> Uh, they were so amazing, and, and Meryl herself is a sweetheart, and, yeah. and, and and she turns up on set as if it was her first movie, because she's so prepared and so gung-ho, and, and loves just working. You can tell she just loves it. Yeah, I love it. Well, everyone is freaking out, because they all love you on Fuller House, and I'm sorry that I haven't brought up Fuller House yet. Fuller House is like the new sensation, right? The new, net, I mean, it's huge on Netflix. It's yeah. Full House. Did you watch oh. Full House? Did it, where I did was, you live when Full House was on? Or? Well, I was in Argentina, but in Argentina we didn't get it until like 10 years later. So okay. I was already gone uh, <laughs> to Europe. And so I never, I mean, I knew about it, but I didn't watch it then. And then, of course, when I got the part and I, I, I we did the first run in yeah. front of the audience, it was literally like being in an Elvis Presley concert. A Fuller House? fans were like... <sighs> because, right, they are yeah. freaking out. So I realized then, I was like, oh, oh this is... This is bigger than I Because it's like original cast members yeah. grown up and it's yeah. crazy. And you play the I act. play Fernando. Right, you're Fernando. Ex, which is hair, Jimmy Hair Dibbler's. stylist, right? Hairdresser well, was at one like, point. Yeah, it's sort of like a race car driver, a hairstyler. Very worldly, like he you. He does a lot of things. Yeah, exactly. He's multi, <laughs> multifaceted. And uh, yeah, Kimmy Gibbler's, um, you know, love interest and the weirdo gets the weirdo. I'm the weirdo <laughs> Is it fun? Oh my God. Do you like doing that, com- that style of comedy? I never thought I could. I never thought I was, you know, good enough to do it because you're not my funny last... in real life. Are you funny? Like, with, are you like known as like funny around your friends? Are you like yeah, sort of, of a clown? Of course, I am. Of course, yeah, of course, I'm not a of clown. course. Well, I am a clown. Yes, I'm, 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 I'm ridiculous in life, but all the roles that I got up until that point were very serious. You know, Jesus Christ. And yeah, you were Jesus, weren't you? Like, but don't people on the internet call you like hot Jesus? Something I think like they that. do. I think Something they do. Like I, I you're you're one of the line of Jesuses, but you're a hot Jesus. Oh, well. And what would that that was A D, right? A D. The Bi- it's called like the Bible Con- The Bible continues. It's like a it's sequel a, to the Bible. What was that? Bible. I gotta check that out. Basically what it was is um, Roman Downey and Mark Burnett who produced right. the Bible series for uh, History mm-hmm. Channel. They decided to tell the story of what happens after the resurrection. So it's all about the apostles and how they continued and they sort of created what we now know as mm. the church. So the show starts with the crucifixion, the worst time of his life, and, and, and I was involved in that at the very beginning of the season. Wow. Very different than Fuller House. A little. A little bit. <laughs> you, a little. you have a lot of versatility there. 
So is it safe to maybe think that you want to do Broadway? Of course. Yeah. I mean, we're like we're here. We're like literally Chicago's right next door. We're we are. we're we're, 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 right, we're right in the middle of Broadway, everybody. You can't tell, yeah. but Time we are in the middle of Broadway. <laughs> um, of course, I would love to. I would love to. I mean, I, I it's my first passion, really. Music and theater is where I started. Uh, in England, so for me to do this now at Feinstein's just before below is a way of saying, hey, you know, I'm 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 one of you, mm -hmm. uh, and for sure, yeah, I actually watched every single show. I think most shows in the last sort of week and a half. You mean, you've the just the been, new ones. Yeah. You've been like I've been show hopping. Boom, 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 you and boom. you and Hillary Clinton. Yeah, like we're, like this. <laughs> we're like this. Um, yeah, yesterday, something in the park with George was amazing. Oh, and so good, right? Sunset Boulevard, amazing. Uh -huh. Dear Evan Hansen, amazing. Oh, you're seeing, uh, you're seeing all the good ones. On your feet, I really enjoyed that. It was great. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I met Gloria Stefan the other day. The Swedish. You met woman. who? Gloria Stefan. Uh, was she there when you went? No, I met her at, at a party, and I was so like in love with how sweet she is. So sweet. Very sweet. Amazing. Very sweet. Um, so Billy wants to know the same thing I want to know. What is your dream role? Bobby in comedy. Ah, you, do you know how often that comes up? There are so I'm many sure. actors a lot of that are going to fight actors. each other. <laughs> that comes up for, for men. That comes up so often on here. Well, right. well, I'll give you another one. Valentina on Kiss of the Spider Woman. Oh. But that's less so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's good. I'll I take feel, that one. And I feel like that's going to come back. Like, and that has Argentinian. To... I'm Argentinian. We yeah, that's Argentinian. good. I think we should just book that. Can we book that? Let's just do it. I like that. Let's yeah. just do that. All right. Well, that's um, appearing soon in Kiss the Spider Woman. <laughs> 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 Who would be your dream Aurora? Hmm. You know what? I don't care how old she will be. Cheetah. Cheetah! Yeah. yeah. I, I agree. Okay. Cheetah can do it. Why not? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Of course she could. Yeah. I mean, Cheetah woman can do it. Forever. Okay. You know, yeah. And I, so, I'm a big fan. I'm okay. a big fan of both Cheetah and Rita, actually. Cheetah and Rita. You know, it, it's acceptable to be a fan of both. Oh, well, I'm I glad love, I, I love them I both. love them both. Yeah. And, and, so, and they're so different. That's yeah. why you love them both. Because well, how could you not love them both? They're amazing. Yeah. They're both amazing Incredible. and inspirational. Royalty. Yeah. yeah. I agree. Royalty. Uh, is there anything else you want people to know about your show? So it's next Tuesday and Wednesday. Tuesday, Wednesday. 9 30. It's not called Act One. It's an evening with. Why? <laughs> and uh, yeah, tickets still. What are you still singing? You're singing I'm Broadway singing music? A of, yeah, I'm singing. It's, it's, uh, it's eclectic because uh, I wanted it to be dynamic. So there's there's some Broadway stuff, there's some cool. song time, there's some Tender and Ebb. Uh, there's also some Michael Jackson. Oh, nice. Abba, uh -huh. and, and some original songs too. So I've made songwriting as well. Uh, awesome. People also say, what does this mean? You're do, what's it like to do your own dubbing on Fuller House? What's it? Oh, because, because I'm dubbing myself in Spanish and Italian. When Fuller House is shown in Italy or Spain or South America, it's actually my voice. On oh, and whereas like and other, they hire other actors. To usually do, they but hire but you other get, You got extra gigs. You're like, hey, I can do this country, yeah, yeah, yeah. this country, yeah, yeah, yeah. this country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> actually speak a lot of languages. It's the hardest thing I've done. Really, because you have to like time your own joke in a different language, right? And be funny and be in character, but with a completely different language. So uh, it's hard, but it's fun, right? Because you can't blame it on like, well, the guy's not funny. Like if it was, if you were no. dubbing someone else, you would just be like, that guy's not funny. So I'm oh, trying, I'm trying yeah. my best. Yeah, yeah, that, that translation <laughs> is crap. It's like, well, that's me. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Paul. Uh, everyone, check him out. Nine thirty at Science Science Fifty Four Below. They have a good meal there. I think they open at eight forty-five. You can have dinner. Mm -hmm. It's a whole thing. It's an evening with. It's an evening with. That's why. And uh, the first night's almost sold out. The second night, we still have. Got okay, Wednesday. Tickets. Focus on Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. So nice Thank to meet you. you. We'll see you tomorrow with another fabulous guest on Live at Five. Wave goodbye.